Hello and welcome to another episode of Learn It with Larry, Season 4. And in this particular series, we are talking about the Atomini Extreme. And in this particular episode, we are going to show you how you connect your mobile phone device as a tethering or an internet source to your Atomini Extreme. When Blackmagic Design released the Atomini Extreme early this year, one of the features that they've added in the system is the ability for you to use your mobile phone data as your internet source. It is important because you know there are cases where you go to a location then suddenly you realize that that location won't be able to provide you with any internet source. And with mobile phone tethering, you'll be able to use your mobile phone data as your source, which is quite cool, which is quite good. Let me show you how to do that. But before that, you know, it's just important to remember that the Atom Mini Pro and the Atom Mini Pro ISO, with the latest update, the Atom Switcher 8.6 update, I'm gonna show you here, yeah, the 8.6 update, that update allows you to use your mobile phone data tethering option to your Atom Mini Pro and Atom Mini Pro ISO as well. Now, before the mobile phone tethering option, initially you can only use your network cable or your LAN cable for you to be able to stream or maybe you connect it via USB to your laptop and then you can do a Wi-Fi sharing option on Mac. With mobile tethering, that brings up a lot more opportunities or a lot more uh, possibilities for your live production. I'm gonna show you that using iOS. Of course, you can also use your Android for your uh, mobile tethering. You just have to check how it's done on your end, but it's pretty much very simple process to make anyway. Okay, now we're ready to stream. How do you do that? Mobile phone and you need your cable. So I have some cable in here. All I have to do is go to my Atom Mini stream, connect it to the back of it, and then connect the other end to my phone. And then under my settings, all I have to do is go to my personal hotspot, and then I just turn this on. So now that our mobile phone is connected to the device, now we're ready to stream. So like what I said, once you have the stream key ready, all I have to do is hit on air, and you can see from our multi-view right there that there's a blue icon in our Facebook because we're streaming to Facebook right now. And as you can see from your Atom software control, you will also see this um, blue icon right here indicating that you know, you're using your mobile phone as your internet source. Now if I hit on air or press on air, now solid red, I'm on air. And you can see as well that the icon turned red. It means my mobile phone data is being used for that process. And here's the cool thing. What if something happens to my mobile phone data? Let's say I run out of data or I run out of my phone battery or suddenly my cable just dropped. All I have to do is, you know, I have to make sure that I have a backup data or a backup internet source. And in this case, my backup internet source is my house internet or the location's internet via the network cable. Now let's say I remove this cable right here, you will see that it will automatically pick up the available internet source. So as you can see, our uh, stream just dropped for a bit and then now it's back and now it's starting to pick up the data rate again and uh, that's how quick that is. Or let's say the other way around, let's say our internet source is the main uh, network cable. I'm gonna connect this back again. Let's say um, I wanna make sure that I'm still connected. Um, my phone's still connected to the device. So let's say anything happens to my internet source. Removed it. Again, it will look for whatever available internet source right there. You know, I lost it. But now, if you can look at the multi-view, it will pick up that internet from my phone and then suddenly we're back on air and then you can see that the red icon is back as well. So that's how simple that is. So there you have it. I hope you find this episode helpful. And again, if you have any other questions, just feel free to let us know. Just type it in the comments and then we'll be very happy to help you with that. Again, this is Larry. Thank you for watching.